Faces story videos like this one are getting millions of views and generating thousands per month for their creators. What makes this so effective is they're posting the same content across every platform, turning one video into a flood of passive income. Now, previously pulling this off meant writing scripts using five different AI tools, editing it with pro software, and then uploading to every platform one by one. But you don't need to do any of that. In this video, I'm going to show you the fully automated AI agent system I built that does everything for you 100% on autopilot. You could literally be lying in bed watching your views skyrocket by posting videos that look exactly like this. Imagine being told for decades that your phone calls are private. Then, shockingly, they're not. For years, officials said the idea that the government was eavesdropping on phone calls was a wild conspiracy theory. But in 2013, Edward Snowden, a former NSA contractor. And no, this isn't some complicated 60 minute tutorial. You don't need to code, film, edit, or even write a single post. I'm giving you the exact system for free. Just import it, type in the type of content you want in plain English, connect your accounts, and you're done. So hit that like button and drop a comment with the word automation and I'll send you my full workflow template for free. First, I'm gonna explain how all of this works at a high level and then I'll walk you through it all step by step. And don't worry if this looks a little bit intimidating, I promise you it's super easy. I've already done all the hard work for you. You're just gonna change two or three things and you're good to go. So first, our AI agent is going to write the script for our content. Next, we're gonna use a tool called Blotato to create our faceless video. And a huge thanks to Blotato for sponsoring this video. The reason we're using Blotato is it's the first tool I've seen that makes this so easy because instead of having to use like five different tools to do the video, the audio, the images, the script writing, everything, and sort of just putting that all together in, in one video and coordinating all of that, Blotato does that automatically automatically and so you just need one tool to do this and we're also going to use Blotato to publish to all of our different social media platforms and so that's why this build is so simple and elegant because I'm using the minimum amount of tools here to create a really impressive result without having to create a one hour tutorial. So the first step is to actually get the visual workflow automation builder you see here, it's called N8N. And so click the link in the description and you'll be taken here. You can go get started, create an account and you'll get a 14 day free trial and you don't even need a credit card. Then after creating your account, go to create workflow from here click the three dots and then go import from file. Now you'll want to import my blueprint and you can grab that from the description in the video. So just import in my blueprint, hit open and boom, everything just drops in instantly for you. Like I said, I did all the heavy lifting for you. So now that we've imported our build, I'm gonna walk you through each of the three phases. We're gonna write the script, create the video and publish everything. So zooming in here. So the first thing we have here is a schedule trigger. And so we can have this automation run on whatever frequency you want. By default, I've set it up for you to be just daily at 10 a.m. But you can change this to weekly, even hourly or whatever you'd like. And you can even add multiple rules if you wanna do two a day or whatever you want. But let's keep it simple here. We just want it to be daily at 10 a.m. And again, change it if you'd like. Next. Now here we have our AI agent, which is our script writing assistant. And what makes this AI agent so special is it's going to intelligently make decisions without you having to spoon feed it every single parameter like you used to have to do when you're building these sort of automation workflows. You used to have to really give it every single scenario and build these multiple branches to account for everything. Here, we're giving it instructions in plain English and the AI agent is smart enough to figure out how to carry out that task. So here is the instructions that we're giving it and you'll see it's just in plain English. So this is the first thing you need to modify really. You just need to give it 
a different prompt. So you have brainstorm 50 different viral faces video ideas related to the theme. And so let's say my theme is conspiracy theories that turned out to be true. You could make it about whatever you want, um, you know, history facts or whatever you'd like. And so that's the first thing we need to change. Then just give it more information. Feel free to use my prompts here as a template and modify it for how you want. So we're gonna say randomly select one of the ideas and research relevant stats, dates, evidence, actual people. So this is obviously because I'm doing conspiracy theories, but modify this logically to what you need. And I'm saying 50 viral videos and select one because I don't want it to repeat the same ideas very, very often, right? So this way, the chances of it repeating are much lower. You could even make this 100 or 200, but you don't wanna sort of overkill this whole system, right? So it's 50 to one is pretty good normally. So that's just a simple way of doing that without having to build some sort of memory system. You could build a memory system, but that's you know a lot more advanced and I don't think it's really needed for most people. Next, we're just gonna make this a 30 second video, but you could make it 45, 60, 15, whatever you want, just put that in there. And again, this is what I'm talking about. You don't need to you know program this in somewhere that it's 15 or 30 or 45. You're just telling it and it will figure all this out. And so we just have a little bit more information information here, how I want the video to go, anything that, you know, any special instructions that I want the AI to follow. I really want the AI to end by asking the viewer a provocative question, right, to encourage comments. That's a good idea. Again, all this is really, you can modify logically to how it fits your content. And then write a two sentence video caption, use no emojis, amen. So this, some of this, you might not want to change like this stuff. You might not want to change as much. So just play around and edit it to the minimum amount you need to for for it to make sense. And then before we can test it, we just need to hook up our chat GPT, which is the brain for this AI agent. So you're just gonna go here, you're gonna go create new credential. Then you're gonna go to platform.openai.com and then just generate a new secret key. And you'll also have to go over to billing and add some credits, even like five bucks will last forever for you. Then add your API key here and save it. And then in this module, you don't have to do anything. This is just something I've structured here in order to make sure our output comes out the right way. You don't have to touch that. Now let's run it and test it. And so you can see the inputs over here. That's how NAN works, what you told it to do and what the script. Secret flying machines, a crazy theory the NSA revealed used to have spy planes and yeah, told everyone what was happening. Very cool. So it's a story about Edward Snowden and has the captions and the script. Amazing, very cool. Okay, now that's all we need to do for this step. It just wrote the script. It just figured out in plain English what you were talking about and just did it. Now that our script's done, let's create the video in step two. So we are going to sign up for Blotato, which is the tool we need. You can just click this link right here, or you can just click the link in the description down below. And when you do that, you will be taken to Blotato and you can create your account. Now they do have a free plan, which lets you use Blotato's built-in editor and you get credits to do that. But in order to use the API, the API is the fully automated way of doing this rather than doing it manually because we don't want to do it manually. So if you want to use the API, you do need to buy credits or get a plan. The starter plan here is fine. So you can just start with that to test it out and really see if it makes sense for you and if it's working and growing your channel. So just get that starter plan and sign up. And once you've signed up, just go to API keys and copy your key. Then go back to N8N, go to prepare video, click this to expand it. It just makes things easier to edit and then paste in your API key. Now this is all you need to do to make this work and you can just close it. However, I am gonna talk through these customization options just in case you're interested, but again, this is optional. First, we have template and all you have to do is change the values in the quotations here and then it will do what you want instead. And that's how you customize it. So template is empty and you have empty, which is your standard template, like in the video you saw at the start of this video. Or if you want like the point of view style, which is also very popular, or you also have like a base, it's like a slides and a quote card. So you can experiment with that if you want a different style to the video. So you would just basically enter in this instead of empty and I'll link to all the documents I'm gonna show here in the description as well so you have those references. 
Next, you have a voice ID. So here you'll see all the different voices and you'll see a description, but it's really hard to know which one you really want and fits your content without hearing them, right? So because this is actually using Eleven Labs, which is like the best voice cloning software out there, you can actually listen to them in Eleven Labs. So click the link in the description down below. And unfortunately, it's just annoying. It's free, but you do have to sign up for Eleven Labs in order to listen Listen to the voices but again it's free it's not you don't actually have to pay for anything it's just to get to this library it's just you have to sign up so I'll link that down below so after you sign up takes a few seconds you don't have to pay for anything then just go to default voices and then you can listen to it so if you wanted Aria here there is no greater harm than and so that one is Aria right here. And so of course you just look for the person you're interested in, listen to them, and then that's how you would know. And let's say you wanted Aria, then you would go back into your video and just change this value right here. So captions, you can move the position of the caption. Don't touch this, leave this alone. Then there's style and there's a few options here. You got cinematic, apocalyptic, Baraka. You see all of these different styles and that's just gonna give it sort of the animation style that you can play with depending on your content. Now, animate first image and animate all are just talking about whether you want only specific images to animate or if you want all of them. This can sometimes be good if you're just trying to test. But honestly, I would just leave this alone if, uh, if you don't really want to mess around with things. But honestly, I would just leave this alone for most people. And so as it stands, it's gonna animate everything. Next, you have your text to image model and your image to video model. And so I've set it on two really low cost solutions that are still really great, like Recraft and Frame Pack. But you have a lot of options like Ideogram and Flux for the images or for the videos, you could use Clean 1.6 or Google VO or any of these. Again, if you're not too familiar with all of these different models and which one you should choose, just leave it alone. I've picked two that are really great for most people and they're really also very cost effective. If you see here, Recraft is only 15 per image and frame pack is only 55 but if you go to something like Kling it can be a little more or runway or even Google which is extremely expensive so this is really a good option for most people but play around you might like the output from Kling or something better and you can do that but to get started just keep what I have configured for you and so to recap the only thing you needed to change is your API key and you could have just left all of this else alone and it's what I recommend for most people so now we're gonna execute the step and that will just pass the data to the next step. And so the next step is for us to actually create the video. And so you can see everything is in there and I'm just gonna hit execute step because we can see all the inputs here. And boom, it's queuing it up. And again, you do not have to do any of this manually. I'm just showing you manually so you can follow along and you can see what each step does. But once you turn on this workflow, it'll just run automatically on whatever schedule you want without any intervention from you at all. So I'm just showing you manually. So while we wait for the video to render, that's exactly the next step in this workflow because it can take up to about 10 minutes for a 30 second video, maybe seven minutes, but it could be a lot longer if you make the video much longer it depends what you want so just make sure you modify this to give the system enough time to wait because what it's gonna do is it's gonna get the video after it's done rendering so you want to give it enough time to render and so 10 is good for about 30 second videos more or less and you definitely want to add more time here just change the value if you are going with a longer video now if you want to verify that your video is being made you can actually go to Blotato and just go to videos and you'll see that it's doing it right there we can see that it is making our video a minute ago so again it'll take Take about five or six minutes for this to work. And so after a few minutes, you can keep refreshing the screen if you're a little bit impatient, but eventually the video will be done rendering. And again, I told you it usually takes five to 10 minutes for a 30 second video. And boom, we see it right here and we can actually watch it. Government was hiding something big in the sky. For years, people claimed that the U.S. government was spying on its citizens using secret flying machines. 
And so you can see it's pretty cool right there. And also what's really cool about Blotato is you can actually edit everything and it puts it in a nice timeline view for you. Again, you don't have to touch any of this. It's just gonna happen automatically, but it is really interesting to see all of the elements here because for example, if you wanted to, you could throw some background music in here. So you could choose a file and you know, you wanna put the volume down and you can preview. What if the government was hiding something big in the sky for years? And so they just extend that to the end of the clip. It turned out it was revealed to have used spy planes to gather information. In so this is pretty cool, right? So you can see if you wanted to, you can even modify this, but again, you don't have to, but that's just like a little tip if you wanna add some more elements to these videos, if you want a semi-automated process. And actually you could even then create posts directly from Blotato right here. So you don't even have to manually upload this. Or if you wanted to, you could actually put the timer on say 20 minutes or 30 minutes. As long as you edit the video fast enough, then you can just leave it alone and then Blotato will take your now edited video and post it everywhere. So now you are just part of the system if you wanted to. Again, this is all optional. I'm just giving you guys some extra tips if you wanna do something a little bit more custom, but that's how that would work. So that way it would be doing most of the work for you and you could tweak it if you want. And so once the wait step is over, then the next step is to actually get the video. Again, you don't have to do anything here. It's just there to get the video. You don't have to modify a thing. You can execute the step and you can see that it just pulled up our video right here that we just created, but you don't have to do anything. And now we've created our video. We got our script, we made our video, and now all we need to do is publish it. I told you this was easy. <laughs> so to do that, all you need to do is double click this prepare to publish. And then you're gonna see all your accounts here and it's super easy to add them to Blotato. So go back to your Blotato account and all you're gonna do is log in. So just click here on any of the profiles and just log in. That's all you have to do. And so once you've logged into all of them, takes like five seconds for each one, then you'll see them all listed down here and obviously log into the ones you want to use. I've logged into a few as an example here. Then what you wanna do is you wanna copy that account ID. So for Facebook, there's a page ID and an account ID. So copy the account ID, head back over there. So that's Facebook, for example, and you paste in the ID. And then for the page ID, you copy that page ID, you guessed it, you paste it right there. And likewise, you go get your Instagram ID, your Pinterest, your whatever you want, TikTok, and you just paste them in as you see I've done here. And that's it. And then, you'll see here all the branches. So by default, some of these will be deactivated for you. So all you have to do is activate the ones you wanna use and then deactivate the ones you don't wanna use. So, so in our example, we have Instagram active, we have YouTube active, we have Facebook active. We're not using threads or LinkedIn, but we have X active and TikTok. And so it posts to pretty much everything you see here. Now, once we've filled this in, we can execute it to see what happens and we can see that it just ran that. And then finally, we are now gonna upload the video to Blotato and that's gonna happen automatically. Both of these are gonna happen automatically, of course. And then when that happens, it's going to trigger all of your posts. So let's head over to our social platforms and see. And as we run those nodes already, you can see our video posted right there on Facebook. I, for years, people claim that. And you can see it has a caption, it has hashtags. We got the same thing right here on Instagram. What if the you got the same thing right here on YouTube in the sky. What if the and TikTok. Was hiding something big in the sky. And so when you're happy with your automation and you've tested it, all you need to do is go here and activate it. And now it will run in whatever trigger period you set. And so in our example, it was daily, I believe at 10 a.m. So now you can just set it and forget it. And it's gonna post this content automatically for you to all of these platforms and you don't have to lift a finger. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more automation content just like this. In fact, if you want two more free 100% automated social media builds, check out these two right here.